All right, here we are to talk about Ocean's Eleven, the original movie. And we'll get you a, looks like 1960 or 61. I'm just going to put 60. People will figure it out. This is a pretty good movie. I don't understand why when you go on IMDb, they give it a pretty low rating. Um, is it better than the new one? Probably not, because the new one was able to explore new things. It was able to show all kinds of stunts and crazy stuff. But... It was a way better movie than what they called it. And they had an all-star cast in it for its day. you got to remember, a lot of big-time singers and people used to go on the acting thing. They don't do that as much anymore because it doesn't turn out too good. And it didn't turn out back then either. But Frank Sinatra, he was okay in this. Nothing special. I mean, this is the Rat Pack, though. Dean Martin, I thought was pretty good. He kind of, um... You know, it's just his appeal of being good looking that probably got him through movies so much. I'm not trying to make fun of the guy or anything. It's just that's what I see. And then you got Sammy Davis Jr. He's the one that stuck out the most. He's just a cool, natural guy that you could get along with any day of the week. And I'm pretty sure he was like that in real life. I've never done any real research on the guy. But I always like him when I see him in a movie or something. He's just something you, you really look forward to. Then Peter Lawford and Angie Dickinson. Now this is 127 minutes long. It wasn't rated. But if you had to rate the movie, I would give it a... Well, you know, it really wasn't that bad. There was no nudity. There was no sexual content, really. They, oh, I'd give it a PG. A PG, if I could. Be. And if you look, it's the basic one. As you can see, it's worn out. Oh, and by the way, another thing to note... This is the first VHS tape ever, I think, that I've had that's old that had um, zero imperfections the entire time you watched it. Not as much of a glimmer or a flicker of film or anything. It played perfectly. And if you look at this, look at it. It's all worn out. It's all turning yellow, orange. You might not be able to see it, but it's turning a little yellow and orange inside. This has been played multiple times, probably. And it still works perfectly. Now, you're going to... Um, the only time I had a problem a little bit was that when you first put it at the beginning. It got sketchy, but the, um, the tracking had to kick in to track the tape. It does that with every tape when you put it in um, and it's at the beginning. So you can't blame it for that. I'm actually really surprised this tape played flawlessly. Where did it come from? I'll end the video with this. Well, obviously it didn't come from Goodwill because there'd be a sticker on the side. I think I got this from the flea market. Uh, that's why I'm so surprised it played so well. Most play, um, most flea market videos that I buy, they play. They're acceptable, but they don't play great. This one was beyond the best one I've seen in a long time. Bye bye.